Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm back with another video. I hope you all are doing great. Um, today I'm back with this video to give you a quick update on NCLEX, uh, update on my YouTube channel, and also I will be answering some of the most common questions that I've received from my viewers, from, from you, you know. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go and do that for me. That really, um, you know, helps and motivates me to make more videos in future. So thank you so much for all of you who uh, commented and, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. I do really appreciate that. Um, I'm so happy that uh, my videos are found helpful to you guys. And um, thank you so much for dropping comments too. Um, and talking about NCLEX, as you guys already know that NCLEX has changed back to the old format, original format, which is 75 minimum questions to 265 maximum questions. That sounds a lot, but you can do it. Um, because of this coronavirus you know, hitting all over the world, uh, NCLEX, NCSPN had NCLEX 60 minimum questions and 130 maximum questions, but which is already changed back to the old format since this October 2020th, October 1st, 2020th. So, um, whatever the number of question is, please focus on your study, uh, keep your study hard, you know, work hard, and uh, focus on the materials, focus on the quality, not on the quantity. So, but you can do it. And talking about NCLEX, um, I have received the most common questions uh, from my viewers is, can associate degree of nursing or official nursing apply for the RN in the US? My answer is yes. Um, if you have associate degree in nursing in Nepal or any of the Asian countries like Philippines, Thailand or India, you can go for it, you can apply for it. You don't have to have a um, bachelor or master in the nursing. So this is the most common question I've received. Yes, I, as I already told you, the answer would be the yes. And about the study materials, um, I have received question is like, did you go to the uh, institution or did you go to, you, did you have any personal instructor? Um, but my question is no for this, no. Uh, everyone is different, you know, but in my case, I only studied um, U World. I signed up for three months um, and I studied like in, in detail, like digging in, you know. So I studied only U World. I didn't use any paper, work, paper books. I didn't go to any um, institution. I didn't have any personal instructor. As I said, everyone is different. Um, Personally, for me, I even have to have music on when I study, you know, so everyone is different. Um, I don't mean that if you are going to an institution or, you know, if you have a personal instructor, just keep going, keep going and do it, keep doing with it, you know. The, whatever helps you to learn, whatever helps you to, you know, gain knowledge, the best, you know. So, and um, yeah, this is, this is the two of the mo most common questions that I've received. And at the end, um... Uh, quick update my YouTube channel, uh, which is I will be making uh, this video, this YouTube channel more like educative um, YouTube channel, which which means I will be making more videos on like nursing stuff, like uh, nursing transition or like uh, you know the, the NCLEX study materials or um, like yeah more more basically more uh, like nursing stuff. So. If you guys are interested, please um, subscribe to my channel and be a, be my family, be my YouTube family, and uh, I would love that. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for watching me, and I will see you in my next video. Again, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay safe. Whoever you are watching this video, good luck to you. Take your NCLEX. I, I I really hope you guys are prepping for the NCLEX. You know, who is watching this video? So, um, good luck to you. Mm, you can do it.